Back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. It's a beautiful spring day outside. Uh, problem is, it's super windy. And as you know, wind noise on the microphone is not a very enjoyable video. So today, I'm going to stick mostly in the barns, just so there's not a ton of wind noise. I'm gonna take you guys along while I feed all the calves, and uh, we're gonna start the weaning process on a few of them. This group, for some reason, I'm having trouble every time I put this milk bar in here. They always seem to stay on one side, so when I pour the milk, I have to move them around so they all have milk. But uh, the other groups, they aren't this bad. This, I don't know what's wrong with this group, but they don't like to spread out. So, anyway, now I just play referee and make sure they're all not fighting each other, stealing the wrong milk. causing some trouble lately. Uh, these and I have broken out of their pen here twice. They're out in the yard, some were by the road, so that could have been really bad, but um, they have experienced freedom. And, uh, but I've been double wiring the gate, so they shouldn't be able to break out this time. Um, but anyway, these guys are growing really well. They're still eating quite a bit of grain. And uh, the bedding situation up there, I don't even put straw there anymore. I was putting straw there every day. And since they spend so much time up there, they just automatically turn into mud and poop. And I can't keep enough straw there to keep it dry. So I just leave that and they bed here in the back. And it's all nice and dry back here. Same goes for this pen. 
Uh, their bedding's in the back and then the front where I put the milk bar, it stays in the place. These guys are all off to a good start as well. Um, these two on the end here, they're always fishing fingers, so I gotta watch them. So. And they're all finished up, took about three and a half minutes total. Uh, so I fed 10 calves in three and a half minutes. That's pretty good, I'd say. A lot better than feeding them on a bucket or just bottle feeding each one of them. Uh, at least in my opinion, I know everyone has their own preferences, but. So here's where things are a little bit different. So in this barn, obviously these are all the bucket calves. And uh, these three here, and the next row, one, two, and three, these six are now starting the weaning process. And what that looks like, at least what I do, I, instead of giving them milk twice a day, I give them milk once a day. And in the morning, I'm just giving them warm water. And obviously I'll fill up all the green buckets and give them some hay but that's what my weaning process looks like and I'll do that for five or six days and then I'll totally wean them off of milk at that point and make sure they're eating enough grain and then they're going to be kicked out to pasture so these two are together now once again they broke the gate in the middle so they bet on this side and tear up tear up this side And for those of you wanting to see the kitten, um, he's actually over here with his father. And they're both, this tomcat here, he's a gray, gray and white colored cat. And he's got long hair. So these two look almost identical. It's just, he's orange. And uh, anyway, his mother has been taken care of, so she's not gonna have any more kittens anymore. But, um, he does come around about once every three or four days and stays at night. Grab some food and then he's on to the next one. So he's not here often, but we raised him as from a kitten as well. And he's been around for three or four years. So anyway, the kitten now doesn't sleep with the calves because it's too warm. So he sleeps over here in the hay by himself. But anyway, there's a the kitten. last two bags I've had they don't seem to have they don't seem to have very much molasses in them Which obviously the calves like that a little bit more sweeter but anyway these are the ones that are gonna be weaned here soon you can tell they're chowing down so I had mentioned at the end of last the last video that um, I was maybe considering not raising any more bottle calves this year and by that I mean actually feeding them myself um, for those of you that know I've been raising bottle calves at least on YouTube for a couple years now um, I've been raising them I raised them when I was a little kid as well but uh, you know I've raised a lot of bottle calves over the years and I enjoy it it's fun to me but um, as I've also mentioned I'm also working a full-time job working 50 some hours a week and that's six days a week and so I go to work, well, I wake up, feed calves, go to work, come back from work, feed calves again, and maybe have an hour of free time, and then I go to bed and do it all over again. So I basically spend all my time working, and I'm just getting a little too busy. So um, 
That being said, I still like raising bottle calves. It's just after you feed them every single day, twice a day for, I guess, almost four months, like I have this year, you get a little burnout and then you know, I'll take a break and want to get more again later. But um, I'm to the point where I'm kind of tired and sick of feeding calves. Uh, obviously, doesn't mean I'm not going to get any more. Um, it's just I'm tired of feeding them on the bottle. But I still have dairy farmers that want to give me calves or want to sell me calves. And so when they call me, I'm going to go to the dairy sale, which will be in a couple days after this video. And I'm going to see if I can pick up some Jersey cows, a few of them, maybe three, depending on how cheap they are. If they're going for 300 bucks a pop, fresh Jersey cows, then I may buy four or five. But uh, at the moment, I'm just trying to get two, maybe three. And then if it, the dairy farmer calls me, and says so he's got some calves, I can throw them on the nurse cow or have however many nurse cows, put them on the nurse cows and have them raise the rest of the bottle calves for me because um, like I said, I'm getting a little burnout. So um, I'll still be getting more calves and hopefully a few Jersey cows here in a couple days, but uh, uh, that's the plan as of now. So for those of you wondering about the expenses of buying a nurse cow, uh, like I said, if I can get a Jersey cow for 350 or $400, uh, ends up being worth it because if that cow can raise me four calves, I will end up, you know, if that calf was on the bottle, I'd spend 75 bucks in milk replacer on it. And I'd also spend $15 worth in feed. So if a cow can do that and raise four calves, that ends up basically being the same thing, given the cow will be on grass and there's no way to really calculate how much grass, um, how much grass is worth, but uh, she will be getting a little bit of grain. But for the most part, it's gonna cost the same as if I was raising bottle calves, and nurse cows raise a lot better calves than any human can, so. So that's kind of the plan right now, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know if there's gonna be any selling at the dairy sale I'm going to, but hopefully there'll be a few either crossbreds or straight Jersey cows that go for a decent price. And then after the Jersey cows are done raising the calves, either I can stick more on them if I have some available, or I can just sell the cows in and won't, I won't be out the 300 some bucks I paid for them. That's always an option, or I can keep them, get them bred, see if they get bred and keep them as nurse cows next year. But um, I'm thinking just to minimize how much work I'll have to do, I may just let them raise, you know, four to five calves. And then when they're done, I may just take them back to the sale barn. I'll stick a bull in with them while they're raising calves just to see if they get bred again. But for the most part, I think I'm gonna have them raise calves for, I don't know, five, six months, and then sell them again late fall. Anyway, that's the plan right now. Uh, like I said, I still have a lot to work out, and hopefully there will be some at the sale tomorrow, or in a couple days. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and hopefully the news wasn't too terrible for you. Still more calves coming, it's just I won't be raising them all on the bottle. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you all next time.